haram acts. So if a person avoids eating and drinking in Ramadan but does not avoid acts that are unlawful and lead to hell, then what type of fasting person he is? Remember, the beloved Rasul of Allah وسلم, warned if anyone does not refrain from evil talking and evil acts, remember Allah does not need his remaining hungry and thirsty. He وسلم, also said, fasting involves abstaining not only from eating and drinking but also from useless and indecent talking. Therefore, as a fasting person, reference from eating and drinking, he should also abstain from sins such as lying, backbiting, suspicions, false accusations, misusing his tongue, etc. The Rasul of mankind, the peace of our heart and mind, the most generous and kind, وسلم, also said, if someone fights with you or swears at you, you should say to him, I am fasting. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, these days if one man begins to fight another, he replies, shut up or else remember I am fasting and I will break my fast by you. Meaning, I am going to eat you. Allah forbid, we must never utter such words and we must always remain humble. We can avoid such matters only when we make all of our body parts have fast stop them from committing sins. The fast of body parts, for example, preventing all the body parts from committing sins is necessary, not only in the state of fast, but throughout the life as well. This is possible only when we have fear of Allah in our hearts. Think about the terrifying situation of the judgment day. Every man will worry about himself. The sun will be showering fire, scorching heat, tongues will be hanging out of mouths due to extreme thirst. Wife, mother and father will be avoiding husband, son and children. Sinners will be caught, their mouth will be sealed and their body parts will testify to their sins. It is mentioned in Surah Yaseen. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Wajeem بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اليوم نختم على أفواههم وتكلمنا أيديهم وتشهد أرجلهم بما كانوا يكسبون Translation Kanzul Iman Today we shall set seal on their mouths and their hands will talk to us and their feet will bear witness of their doings. O weak and feeble Islamic brothers, fear from the troubles and tribulation of the Day of Judgment and make continuous efforts to stop your body parts from indulging in the calamity of sins. Here are details of the fasting of body. We should make our eyes fast by looking at only permissible things such as Masajid, the Holy Quran, the tombs of saints, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, scholars, pious people, if possible, the house of Allah the sweet smelling streets, valleys and mountains of Makkah al Zadahallah Sharafa wa Ta'zima, the walls of the houses of Madinat al Munawwara, Zadahallah Sharafa wa Ta'zima, the green dome, deserts, gardens and blessed masajid of Madina. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, please do make your eyes fast. Everyone should make his eyes fast at all times. Never misuse the Allah given eyes in watching what has been prohibited by Sharia, such as films, dramas, non mahram women, attractive boys with lust, or anyone's private parts and even your own private parts unnecessarily. Similarly, do not watch the games or amusements that make you negligent of Allah's remembrance, like the dance of monkeys and beers of streets, making money and beers dance and watching their dance are both impermissible. Cricket, wrestling, football, hockey, cards, chess, video games, table tennis, 
stable football, etc. Do not peek into another person's house without his permission. Do not look at someone else's letter. Do not look at a notebook that belongs to someone else without his permission. Remember, a hadith states, anyone who looks at his fellow brother's letter without his permission looks at fire. Fast of the ears implies listening to permissible voices and sounds only such as recitation of the Holy Quran, sunnah filled speeches, useful talking, the adhan and iqama, reply to the adhan and iqama, never listen to the sound of drums, music, singing, useless and dirty jokes, backbiting, telling tales, faults of other people and do not eavesdrop two persons private conversations. Beloved Rasul وسلم, has said, if anyone listens secretly to the conversation of other people who dislike it, on the Day of Judgment, molten lead will be poured into his ears. Fast of the tongue implies uttering permissible and good words only such as recitation of the Holy Quran, zikr, drood, naat, dars, sunnah filled speeches, inviting towards good, useful and helpful religious speech, etc. Avoid useless talking. Beware. Never misuse your tongue in committing sins such as swearing, lying, telling tells, etc. If a spoon becomes impure, it can be washed by pouring one or two glasses of water on it. But if the tongue becomes impure due to dirty speech, then the water of all seven oceans will not be able to purify it. Inshallah, in the end, we'll say our Madani Maqsad together. I must strive to reform myself and the people of the whole world. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-Habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Every moment, every breath, we thank Allah. The blessings of Ramadan. The blessings of Ramadan. The blessings of Ramadan. The blessings of Ramadan.